guys, it's Michelle. I am so excited for you and that you are um, starting on this journey or continuing on this journey of yours. And I'd like to show you some of the moves that you're going to be doing for your 10 minute workouts. Um, you're going to be doing five basic moves. It starts with a jumping jack. You're going to then move into a squat, burpees, a military march, and then finally your alternating front kick. Now, everybody's going to be starting at a different level, so what I'd like to do is show you the ways to modify each of the moves to fit your fitness level and what you're able to do. So the first move is a jumping jack, and I will show you a very beginner level, so that if for some reason you can't do a jumping jack because of knee issues or you're just beginning your fitness journey, this is the type of move you would do. You would simply step out to the side and raise your hands and do a slight squat or even stay in a slight squat as you move side to side. And raising your arms above your head is going to increase your heart rate. So if that's too much for you to begin with or if you have shoulder issues, feel free just to go halfway up. And that's a good starting point. Obviously an intermediate level would be regular jumping jacks. And if you're really advanced and doing regular jumping jacks doesn't quite get your heart rate up, feel free to make that into a plyometric move by getting some air. So those are your jumping jacks. Next are your squats. The thing with squats that's really important is your form. So I'm going to turn sideways here and you'll see when I squat, my rear end is going to go straight back almost like you're going to sit on a chair and your weight is in your heels, your toes are slightly lifted. Also make sure that your knees do not go past your toes. So, this is the proper form for a squat. A beginner squat would be going down just a little bit and straight up. And as you go up, make sure you're squeezing your glutes to help work them out a little bit further. If you're an intermediate um, fitness level, then you'll go a little bit deeper in your squat, almost to a 90 degree angle. You never wanna go past that though. If you're a more advanced exerciser, then of course you would make it more plyometric. So those are your three different levels for a squat. The next move that we're going to be doing is a burpee. Uh, kind of a funny name. I always thought it was a funny name. And you're going to need a little bit more space um, to do this move only because you um, go down onto the floor to a um, push-up position. So the very beginner way of doing a burpee is to stand up straight, bend your knees, go down to the floor, step back with one foot. Step back with the other foot, step back in with your foot, and step back in with your other foot, and stand up. And then do that again, but step back with the, starting with the other foot, and then one foot, and then back up again. So that's a very basic level of a burpee. If that's still too much for you to get down all the way to the floor, feel free to put your hands on a chair and do the same move. And as you become stronger, you will be able to get all the way down to the floor. A regular burpee is simply you go down to the floor, you jump back, you jump in, and you stand up. You go down to the floor, you jump back, you jump in, and you stand up. All the while, you always want to make sure you hold your core in tight and your glutes are nice and tight. And when you jump back, make sure that your um, back is flat and that it doesn't sway and that you drop your hips so that you don't do this. You're going to injure yourself if you do that, so make sure you pay attention to that. If you are a more advanced exerciser, you can make this a little bit more plyometric so that you would go down, jump back, jump in and up, jump back and in and up. So that would be the more advanced move. Next move that we have is a military march. It's kind of a little bit more um, simple. We all know how to march. And just doing this would be a basic march for a beginner. Just want to get yourself moving. But what I want you to do is try to get your knees up as high as you can if you're a beginner level. If you're at an intermediate level, you're going to really swing your arms up high, lift those knees up high, and make sure it's the opposite arm and leg that's going up. If you're an advanced level, you'll make it plyometric. So 
So you're leaping off the ground. And the last move is an alternating front kick, very basic, um, kicking towards the front. And at a beginner level, you may not be able to get your leg up high, and that's okay. So if all you can do is just tap your foot in front of you, that's fine. Start there. As you advance a little bit further, maybe you can kick a little bit. And a more intermediate level would be kicking a little bit higher. And an advanced level would be really high, swinging your arms with you, alternating arm with alternating leg. And so those are your, your basic moves for your 10 minute workout. I hope that clarifies for you what you're supposed to be doing and how you can modify each of the moves to fit your fitness level and how you can change them as you get stronger and stronger. So I hope that helps and I'll see you next time.